Hello, welcome to IPG Studio live stream sessions until Wednesday evening. Full access for our members schedule and on Tuesday, 10 o'clock, we've got fitness yoga, mud space, drink, water, or tea. And yeah, just be ready to start. Ready to start, yo. Stand up position, feet with your hips at the point. Inhale, arms up. And slowly exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Slowly exhale. A few more. Reaching high with your arms. And when you exhale, you to relax your shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Both arms up. Bend your elbows. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Hold. Switch your right arm, shoulder. For deeper stretch, left hand. Push your arm back. Finger up from behind. Pull. It's not to your head, it's backbone. Or maybe some of you. Bend cross arms behind your back. Holding position nice and upright. Head square. Inhale it and slowly relax. Inhale and exhale. Both arms again. Hold left. Three options to check which works for you. Control your breaths. Deep breath in. And slowly out. Inhale. Slowly exhale. Now roll your shoulders backward first. And forward. more. Right hand on your head. Stretch your neck. Relax your right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale to your left. Control your abs. Squeeze your glutes. You're making movement only from waist up. Inhale. And exhale. One more and slowly relax. Okay, stretch your shoulder, neck on your right, relax your left side. Inhale, exhale to your right. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And one more. Both arms. Move forward, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, front of you. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, straight arms. Exhale, front. Inhale, squeezing shoulder blades. And exhale. Really feel nice, reaching your arms. 
chest and shoulders. Hold the stretch. If you can, try elbows closer to your head, pull them in, point up. Good, perhaps. Inhale, arms up. Slowly exhale, bend your knees, hold for one. Stay in the same position, sometimes we're going to go around so you can see position from the different angle. Now grab your elbows, shake your head, yes and no. Drop your arms side to side, just make sure you've got your hips low and knees bent. Take a moment to stretch your hamstring deeper, nice and warm up. Slowly preparing all your muscles, joints for the session. Hands on the floor, one or few steps to go down dog. And let's march in the spot. Don't worry, it's not about straight legs. Heels on the floor is about feeling stretch back of your legs as well as the upper body, upper back, arms, chest. And now inhale, try to move to plank, slowly exhale, back to down dog. Inhale and exhale. You have to be full plank. If you're new to yoga, you're a total beginner, never done yoga before, you can then stop. It would be too much for your arms or your wrists. Try to find full plank, inhale, slowly exhale. We've got a special video to explain how to work downward dog position and how to strengthen your wrist. Stretch your arms and your legs. Okay. Watch now or later on. Inhale and exhale. Maybe two more. Inhale and exhale. To the top again, two steps or one step, that's okay. Whatever works for you. Okay. Still keep slow. You try to rest your upper body on your legs and your thighs and now rock your body back and forth feel stretch deeper stretch back of your legs long hamstring big of muscles in your glutes in your lower back and now legs wider and rock your body side to side and feel the warming muscles in your hips area Slowly back your down dog. March it again a few times. And now left leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend your knees, swing forward. And hold down dog, which is absolutely fine. If you're stronger, try to move. Maybe if you're just a few inches or all the way to plank. Maybe left knee to your left arm. If you find between your arms or with twist, left leg to your right arm. You've got a few options to try and check which one works for you. You're still controlling your breaths, you're still controlling the movement. Inhale and exhale. Maybe one more. If you find that the hardest position with your left leg up could be lower, could be higher, as long as your toes, left foot pointing down and you're able to move your body, upper body, pushing back, so head between your arms. And slow relax. Now your right leg, inhale, lift, exhale, the same way. It's working with the same muscles, which is different level of strength. Look stronger, try, move slightly, or all the way to full high plank to your right, 
between your arms or challenge your body even more. Twisting to your left. Inhale, let up. And exhale. Knee forward. And maybe two more together. You can stop, rest, or lift your right leg and to feel the stretch back of your left. Don't worry if it's too much, bend your knee, heel off the floor. You don't have any pose to copy. Just the position which works for you. And slowly relax. Three knees. And let's rest in. in. So maybe this is more comfortable for you. The hips higher. Or good flexibility in your hips, glutes. So you're able and happy to sit on your heels. Remember, there is no perfect position. Is the perfect position for you right now. And I'm going to say that hundred times or even more. Yoga is for everyone, but everyone's yoga is different. That's why it's not about yet. Yeah, that's a try pose. If you've got flexibility for this one, that's okay. But maybe. This is your option for now. It's nothing wrong with this one. Nobody's showing this position on the internet, right? But this is the first one to start. And as you got more flexibility, one day you're gonna be sitting on your heels, but it's not the case. You're moving closer to have deeper stretch, okay? So you're about doing more if your body is ready. All right. I've got free break. I just got a kitchen for my tea. It's very important, guys, to drink water or tea during session. Even yoga, yes, this is still exercise. Type of exercise. And it's good to have this habit, sipping pure, just few sips, take a few sips, but often, okay? So not feeling thirsty, if you're feeling thirsty, your body is dehydrated already, so that's the prevention. Just few sips, and yeah, that's fine. And it's never wrong to have some break, never, okay? All right, let's go back to the down the position. If you're still feeling to raise the heart rate, but you can only watch for now. Okay, it's the first time, never done yoga before, or just started, but you don't have that much strength, you need muscles time, just take a break and watch what you can try to do next time. And now inhale, move to plank position, exhale, make your knees slowly, chest on the floor, inhale, squeezing, let's lift your chest, and now see exhale on your floor to down dog. Inhale. Show the easy option. Inhale here, don't have to be plant. Exhale on your floor, slowly belly on the floor. Inhale, lifting chest. And exhale, supporting on your knees to go easy with your lower back. Later on, gonna be foot plank. Gonna be lifting your chest higher. Maybe go back to down dog. Or one day. With straight legs. Everything takes time. All right? So respect your limitations. They are only for now. As much as you practice, you will get there. In height and exhale. Maybe one more. And slowly. To try pose, you know how to start. There's no points for doing position, good or bad. There's nothing like good or bad in yoga. Is that's why we say listen to your body. What that really means? Exactly this. This is the uncomfortable for me, which means glutes and hips tight. Adapt. 
find the option to work for now. Okay. All right. Now, right leg forward. Find the position you have in this stretch. Front of your left, back of your right, as well as your right hip. Let's work with this music. Squeeze your glutes on your left. Right hand on your knee, left front of you. And when you inhale, try to twist your left side. Exhale back to center. Inhale. Exhale. Of course, you don't have to go that deep. It is like a torture for you. Lift your hips higher. Bring it back and work from this position for now. Now hold your position nice and upright. Especially as you twist. Check if you're not making this movement. I'll show you from the side. You're holding here as much as you twist again to feel stretch in your inner thigh. I'm oh, doing left side. I'm doing the same as you're doing, guys. Compensation, which means you're trying too hard. Your body is not happy for this one. I'm compensating to go easier with the stretch. You're going to push your hips back. So be aware. This is the listen to your body. How your body is responding for the stretch if you're trying, forcing too much, or you're going nicely. We foot your gut at this moment. Inhale. And then exhale. Shake from this side. Inhale. And then exhale. And maybe one more. Inhale. Slowly exhale. And relax. Okay, right leg. Again, start. As long as the stretch is there, that's your position. If you're gonna be ready for more, you need deeper stretch, that's the way to go there. But it's nothing like you need to look like this. No, doesn't have to. And now, left arm inhale, and exhale. I'm doing right leg. Right leg. Ah, oh, I just mixed everything right now. Okay, switch your side. <laughs> Holding position, really be aware how your body is responding. If you're making this movement, which is a clear message, you're doing too much. Stop the movement when you're feeling, oh yeah, I'm pushing my hips back. Don't, don't go that far. Inhale, and exhale. Maybe two more, inhale, and exhale. Last one. And relax. Okay. You're on your four. And you need to place your left foot. Where was your hand? Okay, so pretty close to your right hand, just next to each other. And when you inhale, lifting your left arm with nice twist. So it's not only pulling your arm, but you're making this rotation in your upper body with your upper body. So right shoulder pointing down, left somewhere high. Maybe it's here, maybe it's directly up to the ceiling, but it's not the case. You need to feel this rotation, nice stretch in your upper body, but as well as your left hip. So notice if you're pushing your leg out, pull in as you're twisting to your left side. Show from this direction. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And one more. And the last. Right. Left hand to your right. Inhale and exhale. Again, just checking how is your right leg. And if you're twisting, feel this rotation in your upper body to feel stretch in your right shoulder, upper back, and right hip. Inhale, and exhale. Maybe two more. Inhale, 
and it's kind of head, step to the front of your mat. Stay forward, forward position. And now just, again, listen to your body. Go with the flow, any movement. Just go for it, maybe, and shake your head. Maybe to rock your arms. Maybe to rock your body. Back and forth, or side to side. Different meanings for this. Raise your head, still tight muscles in your neck. When you rock your arms, it's your shoulders area, upper back. If you're rocking body front and back, back of your legs, that are really tight. When you're rocking side to side, it's your lower back and hips. So now you know what you should focus today to stretch the most. And vex me, what is it? And slowly bring your feet together. Let's start roll up very slowly with your knees bent, like your hands and your legs. Also completely upright, straight legs. Lift your arms. Slowly shoulders back and down. Feel the height. Slowly expand. And one more. Feet with your hips to the front. Right on the hind. And now just move your left leg back. Check what's the reaction of your body. I know it's easier for the balance to turn your leg out and change your position facing to your side instead of facing forward. But you can try to keep your left foot pointing forward as much as you can to hold your upper body and your hips all of the same direction as your feet. Why? Because we're going to stretch your muscles. Hamstring on your right, half on your left. And we need to hold your hips right alignment to work with your muscles correct way. So watch your left foot. And if it's here, bring it back. Hips forward. Strong glutes on your left. Inhale high. Exhale from your hips. Like a hinge. Just bend forward, watch your head, you don't want to be dropping head, just neck nicely with like a spine, inhale, slowly exhale. Inhale, exhale, and you feel the stretch, right hamstring, the upper part, back of your leg, half could be hamstring, just back of your left knee, so as you're going lower, this is the deeper stretching. So it's up to you how you're feeling, but make sure you're not compensating by round back, pulling head to your chest. Your upper body is like nice straight line and you can only bend in your hips area, okay? This is very important, your spine nice and long, nice and straight as you lean forward from your hips. It's nothing like bending from your belly area like this, okay? You're not doing this way. So then one inch, but the correct way helps to stretch your muscles. In high, and exhale. And now some of you are ready for more. So you can go lower, maybe hold your hands together or place your fingers, lift your arms higher. As long as you're able to squeeze your shoulder blades to push your chest forward, because this is option to stretch your upper body, front of your upper body, deeper. Okay, right? so if you, oh yeah, I can do that, but you've got this position, back with your arm behind. You've got this arm for reason. This arm is pulling your chest, the lower back forward, so it helps your whole position upright. In high. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Maybe one more. 
as you can see, I'm not bringing my head towards the leg. I'm trying first to bring my belly, rib cage, chest, and after chest, I can try how close is my head without pulling my head, I'm using muscles from my neck to hold head in the right position. And slowly go up. How was it? Getting muscles, yeah. Good. Now, right leg back. Yeah, and checking. This is very common. I can see that a lot. Not now, of course, I can't see you, but I can see that beginners. And I was there as well. I said, I'm not stretching anything here. I can go really deep. Yeah, because you've got the rotation. It's not about the, how deep you go. Is if you've got all your body, all your body facing forward. So start with your right foot. All right, right arm behind. So you're really trying to push your chest forward. Inhale and exhale. Stretch, hamstring, left leg. Right side, the lower part, calf and hamstring, just back of your knee, probably the most. In height, exhale. The more flexible, you can triangle lower. The hands together, bring elbows up, or try the straight arms. In height, and exhale. One more. Try to hold. Good reps. Keep smiling. And slowly inhale it. And relax. That's a proper stretch, isn't it? Okay, let's have another break. How are you doing, guys? All good? Hope you're done quality of the video and uh, audio is good please leave me in the comments how we doing because we can see sometimes depends on the time of the day is better quality or we're losing something so please let me know how you see because the man is watching right now but from his laptop at the moment everything looks normal when i watch later on you can see the quality is not that great so please give us a comment how is the quality of this video, okay? okay. Is everything fine? Yeah. Now we need legs wider, toes, both feet pointing forward. Again, all your joints facing the same direction because we still are stretching muscles back of your legs. Hands and hips because it's the same movement again, back to straight legs from your hips. It's all about Moving your pelvis, tilt forward. So upper body, from hips up, look at your head. It's mark one straight line. And you can bend somewhere here. You can bend your knees. Better to hold even here. As long as you're feeling comfortable, stretch. That's your option for now, okay? You're doing really low check. If you're pushing balance back on your heels, so you don't have your hips in line with your knees and your ankles, time to lean forward more, to bring your hips in line with your ankles and knees. Okay, you go compensate this way, pushing back, but we need to push forward. But for now, if you stay really high with your chest, that's the option, still works. In high, and exhale. Be more flexible, then go lower. Maybe hands behind your legs, somewhere behind your knees and your calves. Maybe your ankles. Maybe legs wider. Whatever works to feel comfortable stretch. Step by step, it's not an option to try. Is okay, I can do this one. Yeah, I'm comfortable with this one, and I'm moving for deeper, deeper, deeper. Stretch. Maybe some of you are ready to place forehead on the floor. Hands and hips. I slowly all the way up. Bring it closer. 
Take your shoulders width apart. And let's try squat position. Chair. I know the traditional is with your arms straight, but it's not good for your lower back. So let's focus more how you're holding this position. If you've got your shoulders higher than your hips, not the other way. Okay, that's a compensation. But the struggle of joints, probably it's lack of enough mobility. You can go really low as long as your hips lower than your shoulders. And you've got heels on the floor. So I always ask, keep your toes pointing up as you're doing chair pose. So you've got this balance, you're just pushing back. Inhale. Slowly exhale, maybe that's the position, maybe you can go lower and all the way. Find how far you can go holding the right technique, right alignment. Inhale and exhale. If you're fine with this one, try your legs together. Inhale and exhale. Harder, isn't it? If you've got tight hips, legs wider, right? It's all about find out what works for your body. It's not working. And one more, and if you end up shift, higher, lower. Do this really good, maybe arms up, chest high, pulling shoulders down, strong ups. Inhale it and slowly relax. Shake your legs. Okay. Give your legs some rest. Move to shine pose. Again, any option works for you. If you've got more flexibility, you're ready for deeper stretch in your hips. Legs out. So you've got space to bring your shoulders lower. So you're stretching your hips, glutes, as well as your chest and shoulders. It's always good to try because you never know, but if it's difficult to hold this position and controlling reps, that's a simple sign. It's just too much for now. Respect your limitations and work with them. As you can see, I'm not resting my forehead on the floor. I'm just encouraging my neck to work for stronger muscles. Now, I need four arms. With the knees feet together. Elbows, so opposite hand, reaching for opposite elbow, pressing elbow to the floor. Lace your fingers together. And now, right leg straight. So about how high, by twisting hips, the rotation in your lower body, or by arching your back, is to feeling muscles active. Hamstring and your glutes in lower back is flat. So you're trying to tuck your pelvis under to hold your lower back flat and abs engaged. Not resting head on the floor. You're just pressing elbows to lift your chest higher. Inhale. And exhale. Straight leg, toes to the floor. you got your toes pointing up. You're rotating your leg and you're lifting your right hip. So be aware of that. Inhale. And exhale. Check your smile. <laughs> Inhale. And exhale. And one more. Now left leg. Inhale. And exhale. Now the point you can work instead of using muscles, you can use the balancing point. Okay, in this way. So you're lifting leg higher, but you're leaning forward. That's it. Just playing with the balance in your body. It's holding your upper the same in stable position and work only with your leg from your hip joints. Inhale and exhale. Maybe two more. 
Inhale, and exhale. And again, to shine pose, whatever works for you. Chest and your legs or higher or bringing your rib cage closer to the floor. Slowly, let's go on your four hands, your shoulders with the front, you see your hips, neck nice and strong, active muscles. So, check if you've got tendency to drop your head down. How about your belly? Use the muscles. Looks like not doing anything, but yes, I can even imagine you pushing yourself away from the floor, really activate muscles in your. Upper body, shoulders, chest, and abs. And now, right leg straight. Flex your foot. And start to rock your body back and forth. Feel the stretch back of your right leg, calf, potentially your hamstring, the part behind your knee. That's a good exercise for stronger arms. And your wrist. Head high. And exhale. Then hold. You can try your left. Just your hands. So your elbow is bent. Or straight arm. Lower, higher. Or you need to try the same side arm. Right arm, right leg. Inhale and exhale. As long as you've got good balance, good stability, you can try more challenging option. Back to strongly. Back to even hold your hands for now, both on the floor. Takes time, but you will get there. Now change your leg. Left leg straight. Inhale and exhale. Check your head position, that muscles in your belly, nice and strong. Inhale, exhale. You can hold, still feeling the stretch. And remember, it's up to you how much you're going to feel the stretch. By moving back. Leaning on your left leg deeper, so if it's too much, just move forward. Hold your both hands or just your hand. Bending elbow, checking if you're comfortable, you've got strong balance, good control in this position. If yes, it could be right arm straight, or if it's still good, try left. In high place. One more. And once. Okay. Check it. How your wrists? If that's in two stretches on another video, I just leave the link later on. As after all the process, I will add the link so you can do some stretches for your wrist. Let's lay down your back now. Going easy for your lower back area, hands close to your body, just behind your hips, and slowly holding knees close to your body on your forearms, and slowly just roll your back on the floor. Cross legs, hands and knees, or could be arms. You're just trying to go easy for your upper body, so if you've got your legs further and you can't reach without me lifting head, just arms by the side. That would be close enough. Yeah, you can give them a good hug. Trying to relax upper body right now. I'm going to do some core exercise. So the upper part is not time to relax now.
Okay, grab your left knee, right leg up, and you can bring lower as long as you get good stability here. Strong abs, lower back, the same position. You're trying to press your lower back to the floor. So that's the idea how to engage muscles of the front, your core. So it's not about how low is your leg is, how much you can control your belly. If you notice, losing muscles, you can bring your leg lower, of course, because you try. But your body is going to compensate and work with the balancing point in your body by arching lower back to let your leg go down. It's no support from the muscles here. And tomorrow or a few days after, you can feel some discomfort in your lower back. And if you're going to practice this way very often, it's going to cause the lower back pain. So better to keep higher, but make sure you've got core area nice and strong. Muscles contract, pull in through the spine. As everything really takes time, muscles stronger, you're going to feel, oh yeah, that's easy. I can move my leg lower. Later on, you can lift your shoulders, head. Next step, it's going to be arms by your side. So every step is going further, more challenge for your core. But it's nothing changing here. You're not feeling anything in your neck right now. The arms or over your head. You're keeping arms over your head and shoulders over the floor. So if you're need to go down, just keep your arms lower or here, okay? So every option I'm showing right now, I'm demonstrating is go deeper. Make this exercise more challenging for your core. If you're feeling, yeah, that's a good thing to do. Maybe three more, inhale, leg out, and exhale. One more. And now with your right, left leg, check. I want to that abs engage, shoulders relaxed. Beautiful smile on your face, that's right. Needs to be comfortable. I know some teachers saying, you know, that you're saying, yeah, discomfort is fine, not on my videos, no. If you're feeling discomfort, your body's in stress, and why? Is the reason we're doing yoga to make your body be in stress? No, we want to go easy, respect your limitations with what you've got to work with your gut at this moment and progress from this point. Okay, so if you're ready, shoulders, arms above, over, or the lifting hips. Inhale and exhale. So I'm showing how far you can go eventually if you need to practice in the right level. Okay, maybe two more. Feet flat on the floor, your hips with the part, arms beside your body, and you can lift your hips. If you've got anything in your neck, any issue, focus only to lift your hips. Bring the upper part, spine on the floor. But if you find, you can try pressing shoulders to lift your chest as well as your hips. Squeeze your glutes. Okay, it's all about working for stronger muscles in your buttocks and lower back. Inhale and exhale. You're going to feel anything in your lower back because this is kind of back extension again go easier just your hips keeping more upper body on the floor but it is fine it's a nice stretch of the front and that's just working on the other side you can move your arms away from your body if the stability is there next step we further hands together pointing up or then over your head but over the floor so you can try, it's always good to try, especially if you're new to yoga, you're a beginner, because you don't know 
what you can do, what your body is capable to do. So it's all about discovering your strength, your weakness, your limitations. Any position works for you. So you hold it right now for two breaths. Inhale and slowly exhale. Arms by the side, they're higher. Slowly roll your spine back on the floor. Feeling your glutes? Good. Knees to your chest. Inhale, back legs bend, feet down. As you exhale, try to stretch. Then you have to be together. I've got my legs, my shoulders with the apart, like this. But we find it could be together. Again, it's not the perfect pose to be here. It's about feeling comfortable, stretch lower back, glutes, hamstrings. Okay, inhale and exhale. You can focus on your abs as well. So you need to work for the flexibility and strength. So as you exhale, feet up. And press your lower back to the floor. You need to feel your tiny muscles getting tighter and pull in through the spine. Now, there's too many things to focus for you for now. That's okay. Just make sure you're not overstretching your muscles. So that comfortable with the stretch. Now, really flexible. Try to lift your hips off the floor. Again, and the neck. Issue go easy with this one, so you can only lift as you're holding the upper part on the floor. But maybe some of you are ready and comfortable with your neck to lift your legs over your head. So it's all about enough flexibility in your legs and strength in your abs to make this movement happen. Inhale. And exhale. So don't worry if it's like, yeah, it's not gonna happen. I'm here. That's okay. <laughs> That's the way. I've been there. I remember. I was like, yeah, it's not gonna happen. I'm never gonna be able to lift my legs. Think about pulling knees to your chest to activate your arms and really work with the flexibility back of your legs. So first, like this. Yeah, small steps, baby steps. Okay, but we can have some fun. Someone is ready, legs up and hold, or try just bend one leg, lifting foot. And slowly, now be careful, using strength from your core, but if it's not enough and you're feeling, you're lifting your head, okay, that's fine, let's do it. Okay, body struggling and try to Compensate the balancing point again. One day, then I'll be able to your head on the floor. Arms away, feet wider than your shoulders with apart, and let's rock your legs side to side. You're not trying to pull your knees to the floor. You're trying to hold your shoulders down. So you're down. You can try go deeper with the stretch. Good breaths. Come back to center. Stretch your arms over your head, so legs on the floor. Give a good stretch. All the muscles. And now, ready for the relaxation part. You can stay where you are. Just your arms by your side, palms facing up. Maybe head a few times, side to side. You can shake your body. To be sure there is no more tension in your body, in your muscles. But if you prefer a comfortable place, use this transition. So roll on one side and slowly sit down. So now I can get ready. I'm going to change music. It's going to help you relax. Hope you can hear the music. You can give me comments as well. 
with, during the relaxation, you can hear this music because it's very, very beautiful, very, very relaxing. Now make yourself comfortable. You can close your eyes. Deep breath in. yourself permission to relax all your muscles from your head to your toes in and slowly out and now relax your head Relax your face. Relax your neck. Let it go. Deep breath in, Your shoulders left and right. Relax your arms left and right. Relax your hands, left hand, right. 
Okay, breathing deeply. Slowly. Deep breath in. Out. And now relax your hips. Left hip, right, relax your legs, left and right. Relax your feet, left foot, right. is heavy your body is Your body is Now, take a deep inhale, exhale, you can open your eyes, but if you prefer, continue your relaxation, please do enjoy your precious moment, feel relaxed, just enjoy for longer. But if you're ready to finish without changing position, very slowly, give yourself a good stretch to wake your body. Maybe you'd like to prefer stay where you are, but if you're gonna be ready, please remember the safe transition. Make your lower back happy and healthy. And if you're ready, just sit down a few times, lift your arms, inhale, 
slowly exhale. So that's a sign for your body. Finish relaxation. Ready for the day. Okay, thank you. So that's all for now. We got another class. 11, quarter past 11, gentle yoga. As the name is going to be more gentle. So if you like, you can try it. And half past six, if you're a beginner or you've got very tight hips and struggle with the pigeon pose, half past six, I'm going to get through how to get there, how to adapt, how to work with your body limitations, tight hips, tight lower back. Okay. But if you're feeling right now stretched enough, feeling relaxed, give me a thumbs up. Show me you enjoy this session with me. Okay, see you soon. Still got the open access for four members schedule until tomorrow, Wednesday evening. We're going to finish. It's going to be a few videos, uh, a few live stream sessions as well, but just 30 minutes and not for every day. So if you're interested in the full member schedule, you can go on our, our uh, website and check all the details. Just 15 pounds for a month and you've got over 80 videos, or over 80 sessions, live stream sessions to watch and try. Okay, so thank you for being with us. Thank you for your support. Really appreciate that. Enjoy the rest of the day. Stay safe, healthy, healthy and tune with us. See you next time, guys. Bye.